Hey everyone, it's Matthew Fieldhouse here. In this video I'm going to show you how to download, install and get JNS3 working. So first of all we're going to download the install package. So we'll type in download JNS3 in Google. We'll go straight to the JNS3 website and if you're on Windows like me, I'm using Windows 7, uh, but you can do this for any version XP or Vista, then the one you want is GNS3 version 0.7.4 all in one. So we'll click on that, it'll send us to another website to download the file. We'll just give this a few seconds. Okay, so it's just downloading now, we'll give this 10-15 seconds for the uh, file to finish. Okay, so now the download is finished. We can click on it and click Run. So now we'll go through the GNS3 setup, and it's very straightforward. If you've installed programs before, uh, it's exactly the same, really. So we'll click Next. I agree. Next again. We'll keep all the defaults. We want to install all the components of GNS3 to make sure it works as we expect. Click Next and Install. Okay, so I've got a message here that says WinPCAP is already installed on this machine. This is just an extra add-on that allows GNS3 to work. I've already got it installed on my machine, that's fine, I'll just click OK. Next, agree, and this is going to install WinPCAP. Just allow it to start the driver at boot time. So remember, we're just keeping all the settings as the default and making sure that everything is installed. There we go. So you click finish and I'm not sure if it starts automatically. Let's have a look for the shortcut. GNS3, there we are. Okay, so you start up GNS3 and the first thing you do is get this setup wizard. So, step one, configure and test the path to Dynamips, check the working directory is valid. So we'll click on step one, and Dynamips is the back end that virtualizes the Cisco IOS images. So what we'll do is uh, go to Dynamips, and we want to click the test button there. You'll see it says Dynamips successfully started. That's great. And that's pretty much everything. So we'll click apply and OK. The next step is to add one or more uncompressed iOS images, so this is the Cisco software. So in my next video I'll show you exactly how to get the iOS software set up in GNS3 and if you like this video click the link below you can watch more like it at my website gnsvideotraining.com thanks for watching